I want to wear this. Look how B.A. that looks. Suck it. Nailed it. Let there be light. We got lights, peeps. What is up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood slip gator here. Hanging out today. Oh, I hope it's doing stuff and things. Playing Ark Survival Evolved back in action on the Press C to Poop server. I hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a really good day. Just getting back online from the Survival of the Fittest tournament. Just getting doing some stuff and things. Having a really good time. Um, and we're back in, 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 wait, wait, it's dark. No, wait, let there be light. We have lights, peeps. So cool. So yeah, I was just getting back on, checking out all my stuff and things. Notice straight away, bunch of things kind of weren't working right it was really weird when we we had the survival of the fittest thing let's go ahead and turn the lights off and let's turn the gamma on just because it's really it's really we can't see anything it's dark man we're gonna have to go gamma five uh kind of sort of so when i was logging back in i noticed that a bunch of my stuff kind of wasn't working and what was going on was that when we when we did the tournament um they gave us a special install and that special install was still kind of like overriding some of my settings. So I had to reinstall everything. And actually, I'd had some of my settings turned down, so I turned them back up, and stuff and things looks a lot better. I want to tell you guys thank you so much for all your support on the ARC videos. As always, it is so very much appreciated. And I want to thank you guys so much for, you know, a lot of communities and people could have maybe been like, um, let me see how I can word this in a really good way. We're going to go out and get some meat while we do this, because we're really low. We're running low on meat on everything. But, um... You know, I died in 35 seconds of the first part of the tournament. And a lot of people and a lot of communities um, may not have necessarily been really nice about it. And you guys were really great. Like, you really were understanding. You kind of knew it was just kind of the way it went. There was not much that could be done about it. And, you know, um, yeah. So thank you guys very much for being cool. I really, really do appreciate it. And like I was saying, thank you so much for all your support on the videos. Your continued support on all the ARC and Minecraft and Grow Home and all that stuff. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, so today to start off our stuff and things, we're going to go out and get some meat. We need to get some. But I thought we'd maybe talk a little bit about the tournament and talk about the experience that we had. And a lot of you guys probably saw the vlog that I did. It's kind of a vlog, half highlights, half vlog. Um, man, that Ichthyosaurus is just coming right up on shore, man. We got poop in our inventory from playing poop skip ball still. So yeah, um, a lot of you guys may have seen the highlights and all, and any uh, and that sort of stuff and things, but um, yeah, I died in 35 seconds. I died, I died right away, right away, super super fast. I went into the middle. It was very much. If you didn't watch, um, it was very much. What is that guy doing? What are you doing, man? I look at the ichthyosaurus in its natural ha natural in its natural habitat, just hanging out, man. Look at him. He's totally just chilling. He's like, what up, moon? Just waving. He's just waving at us. What is that? Are you like a friend or fuck? You're just a guy. You're just a guy with his head in sand. You're like an ostrich theosaurus. That is the weirdest thing I've ever seen, man. Oh, there he comes out of it. You back, homie? Yeah, it was nice to... Yeah, well, let's go. You're... I don't know. I don't want you to like, infect any of my other dinosaurs with ostrios, ostrichosaurus. Because ostriches put their head in the sand? <laughs> but anyway... The, um, the tournament was very much like um, a Hunger Games where you got dropped down and in the center there was like a, a big circle and there was all sorts of items. And uh, I watched the footage back a, a bunch of times trying to analyze, analyze my mistake, try to see what it is that I did wrong. And um, so what ended up happening, I'll just tell you what happened. We ran, I ran into the middle. I actually asked Shrooms, my teammate, should we go to the middle? And he says no. Okay. So, and then I was like, no, let's go, man. And we run in. And we ran out, and we're totally safe. Like, everything was going good for just, like, an instant. I was like, oh, looks like no one's trying to follow us. We're good to go. And uh, then suddenly, oh, what up, man? What level are you, homie? You know what would be great is if you could see their levels. Because hopefully, if this guy's a hundred millionth level, I'd be sad. Um, so we ran out, and I was like, oh, wow, no one's attacking us. And then I ran out of stamina. Like, I started, oh, wait, hold on. Before that, let's do the order of operations exactly correctly. Um... So we ran out, and then he yelled at me that somebody was firing a bow at him. So I turned and looked really quickly, saw the guy, started to run again, ran out of stand with that very, very quickly, and then, and then I knew I wasn't going to be able to run. And I hadn't looked at my inventory to find out what items I had gotten yet. So I decided to just, yeah, we're in a fight, buddy. 
I decided to just stop and check my inventory real quick. I had no idea what was in there. Maybe there was a gun. Maybe there was a special arc shield or I have no idea. I mean, obviously I didn't think there was anything like super special, but I thought maybe there was a bow or some sort of a weapon, possibly armor, anything. And the instant I stopped and hit my inventory button, I mean, it was like this, guys. I'll show you. I was like this. And I grabbed an item and drug it down like that, and it was dead in an instant. It just instantly killed me. Whoa, 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 whoa. You want to go? You turn. Um, and yeah, well, it's one shot killed. It was over before it even began, really. It was, so, it was over so fast. How much meat we got now? Eh, that's not really. I want more. That's not even the mouse on the wheel. We need a lot of meat. So, um, so yeah, 35 seconds is how long I lasted, and, um, yeah. And as I said in the vlog, I do want to make sure that I let you guys know that the guys at ARK were absolutely so on top of their game with this, and the tournament went off so great. All the participants were amazing. Everything about it was a pleasure. It was awesome. So, yeah, this game, these guys worked so hard on it, and, and they've just been, they've just been amazing. So, yeah, and I really appreciate it. Um, that, that they put so much hard work into it. It's been a really fun game to play. Um, yeah, I felt very honored, very, very honored to be even asked to participate in the tournament. It made me, I had a little bit of a moment, as I said in the vlog, where I just felt like, I just felt like really lucky. I was like, I can't even believe I'm in this. I can't even believe that like I'm invited to play in like a video game tournament. That's been, like, I can't even believe that that's happening to me. You know what I mean? I think a lot of people might see my channel and see that, you know, he's got like 300,000 subscribers or whatever. And, and and I don't know. I'm just not, I don't think that that's that, I don't know. It's great accomplishment. I get that. But like, it doesn't hit me sometimes. So it really hit me and it was awesome. And I was just like so excited about it. So it was just a really, really cool thing to do. And now it's over and it was sad. <laughs> I died, but we're back and we're going to have a good time. So we're getting meat. We're kind of backtracking here. I'm not really sure what's up with that slip gator. Um, let's get a huge amount of meat, go cook, and, uh, yeah, we'll be our bees, peeps. And we're back! We're crafting up some stuff and things, peeps. I'm just trying to kind of get an idea of what all I got in my inventory. Let's go ahead and drop these in there, and then, let's see, do we have any obsidian in here still? There's 70 right there, so we will go ahead and squirt this in here as well. Because we're trying to get some more polymer here, let's craft all the rest of that stuff we got. There's been a few updates. There's been actually, well, three updates uh, that have added a few different things that I haven't shown you guys yet. So I want to go ahead and go through some of that stuff with you today because I want to see what this stuff is like, man. I want to play around it. So weapons, uh, no, not firearms. It's under primitive, actually. Ranged. Now there's this compound bow. 95 polymer, 85 metal ingots, and 75 cementing paste. Huge, huge amount of stuff and things we need to get here. Uh, let me see. We've got some chitin down here. One. Do we have enough? Well, let's go ahead and grab 200. And then we'll squirt it in here. We'll start getting some cementing paste made because we got to get that polymer. And actually, I need a... Oh, my gosh. I need a lot because with the new bow, uh, structured weapons, ammo, this guy right here, three thatch, three fiber, three metal ingots, one cement paste, one polymer, just to make one arrow. One arrow. Like, that's really expensive. Pretty crazy stuff. Let's see here. Do we have 400 stones? We're we gonna go back up for stones. No, we got a bunch. I think I'm only gonna be. Able to, can I carry 400 stones now? Am I super amazing? Am I that super amazing? I'm gonna say I'm probably not. Uh, no, we're not that amazing. So we'll just drop this guy and this guy. But all right. So cementing base polymer stuff and things to make. Let's play with that compound bow first. The other things that they've added, just so you guys know, there's a new dino called the trilobite. I have no idea what it looks like. I wanted to be surprised, so I didn't really check it out. And um, it's supposed to be a renewable source of. Um, a few different things, like uh, chitin, silica, and oil come from it, I guess? I don't know. I'm super excited to see. And there's a new item in here called the sickle. Let's check that out, too. I'm not sure how far down the chain it is. I haven't even seen it yet. I just logged in and started looking for this stuff. Is it in the metal tools section area? No. Where are you, the sickle? There it is, metal sickle. Let's go ahead and learn that guy. Oh. Okay, is it made in a smithy? It's made in a smithy. All right, let's go ahead and take a look real quick. Where did I put our smithy? Here it is. And are you done doing all your stuff and things? I guess it doesn't really matter. That gas lasts a really long time. So we got 41. Oh my gosh, we need so much more polymer. Uh, all right, so we'll turn you off. Let's check out and see, can we make that sickle really quick? Is it under weapons? Melee? There it is. 
18 metal, 4 wood, 16 high. Pfft, that's easy enough. Let me see here. Uh, we'll just grab 100 wood. And we'll grab 200 hide. And then we will grab... Do we have any pro processed metal? 31 metal? Alright, we'll stick all this in the smithy so we can go ahead and craft that up. Like so. Weapons, melee, bam. Now that I say it came up. Now this is supposed to be a way to more easily harvest fiber. Which is like a huge deal. Let's take a look at it. How amazing does it look? <gasps> oh my god. No. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's check out some statistics here. What do we got? Ideal for harvesting is what it says. Max durability, 40. Weapon damage, 100%. If it's better or worse than any of these other things, we, you know, there's not really any way to tell. Um, let's go ahead and grab beak hole, fly up, and harvest some plants with it and see how much we get. Remember, our harvest amounts are turned up on the server here. So, get me out of here! Now we're back! All right, we got that figured out. Let's check this out. 18 fiber, 35, 50. Oh, baby, that's really nice. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. This is nice. I like this. I like how nice this is. Oh, baby, baby. So much easier to get fiber now. So we've already got, let me see here, just a couple of seconds we've been playing around. 200. 218 already. Yeah, the count was correct. Now, can you, like... Does it do anything else by any chance? Is it just fiber? It looks like only fiber. So it doesn't really do anything to trees. I was just checking. But yeah, it doesn't do anything to look like anything except for this. But what a great idea, man. What a great way to get this. Still would be cool if we had a dino that did it. I mean, obviously that would be fun. Um, but super excited about this. All right, cool. So we got to get back to crafting. Stuff and things to make that compound po. BRBs, peeps. And we're back. Let's get this party started, peeps. We got all the stuff and things we need. Firearms. No, I keep doing that. Primitive, because it doesn't seem primitive to me. Ranged. Compound, compound bow. Let's make one, baby. Oh, here it comes. It's moving out. It's squirting it out. Here it comes. One day, it will be ours. I am excited. Now today's the campy stop. The high-tech bow made of durable alloy can launch arrows at high velocity Require air to fire. Nailed it. Now, how many of the ammos can we make for this bad boy? Oh, none. Three thatch, three fiber. Crap. All right, hold on. We got that. We got plenty of thatch and fiber. Uh, thatch. Nailed it. Fiber. Haste it. Squirted it in the fabricator. Can't be stopped. Bam, bam. Weapons. Ammo. Bam. 13. Look at it go, Pete. And there's a new, if you didn't notice, there's a new arrow um, icon, too. It kind of looks like a spear, but it is not. It's an arrow. All right, nailed it. So grab, grab that. Turn it off. Like I said. All right, let's uh, pull it out. Oh, oh, man. So it really just kind of looks, oh, it's like a reskinned bow. I love it. I love it. Let's take a look at it over here. <gasps> I wonder if it'll be cool when it's gold. We got to make a gold one. And we're back. And it's gold, Pete. So cool looking. So we got our gold thing now. We got our gold bow. We got to see how this thing works. We got to see how well it does. Um, you know, it's one of the things that's tough about Ark is that a lot of times what you get is this weapon damage 100%. What does that mean? You know what I mean? And so there are different wikis, and I haven't actually looked up anything for the compound bow yet. But it does look really cool. Oh, the ADS on this thing is rad, too. Oh, super cool. When we draw back, do we get that little wacky? Yeah, you get this. You still get the thing. The arrowhead looks awesome. Oh, man, does that look cool. All right, so let's grab beak hole. Let's see if we can get out of here. We nailed it. All right, let's head out, and let's find a uh, dodo. No, I mean, it's probably going to be uh, something we got to do. We've got to shoot a dodo in the head to see what happens. But then I also want to check out, like, we've only got 13 arrows, though. We kind of got to be a little bit, a little bit cautious with our ammo usage. All right, let's go ahead and check this out. Oh, no, the day's the can't be stopped. He's dead. Did we pick that arrow up by any chance? No, we didn't. All right, so that was really quick. Like, obviously, we just one-hit it. I, th I figured that we would. Let's go ahead and find something else around here. Not a turtle. Those are a little bit wacky. Parasaur's going to run away. This is a Dillo over here. Or a Dilo, however you'd like to pronounce it. Bring it on, man. What you got, homie? Oh, baby! Oh, my God! Level 60 dial just annihilated in an instant. Wow. Drag his body. You're the first kill. You're the first kill. 
Where is he at? Alright, let's let him go. Well, that was... Where's my guy? Wait, no. Release. Release. Alright. Unbelievably powerful. That was really crazy cool. Um, let's see this guy right here. Let's just check him out. What level are you? 36. Parasaur. What level? Let's see if we can get one to stop moving really quickly so we just make, don't make sure we make sure we do not not headshot it. Stand still! You're about to die. Oh, he didn't die! Oh! Alright, two shots, two hits. That is really powerful. And there's no track version of this, but this is awesome, man. That is way more powerful than the regular bow or even like one of the guns. Any of the guns, really. Also, it fires really fast, like um, as far as the arrow travel time. I don't think I'm hitting them, though. I don't know. I'm missing. We're wasting ammo now. Let's check it out one more time here. Let's lead a little bit. Let me see here. No, I don't know if I'm hitting him. Huh, weird. It's looking like I'm hitting. That's awful strange, yo. What is happening? Well, this will be easy. There, I hit him. I heard it stick. I hit him again. Three shots. Look at that ragdoll. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so three hits, and we're out of ammo. But that was really cool. Composite bow. There you go, peeps. Super fun. Really, really interesting. Super duper expensive. I think um, the cost of the arrows are... I, I feel like a lot of the ammo um, is cost prohibitive. The ammuni ammunition cost is so high, it makes it so that you really just can't use it, um, which is really too bad. So uh, I guess we'll just put our composite bow away. But we've got some other stuff and things to check out. And I will be our bees, peeps. And we're back. And there's one other thing I learned the engram for. I wanted to show you guys. I'm really excited to make one of these. Oh, wait. Turn on, homie. Make one. So the canteen, you can see it down here. Yeah, where are you, the canteen? Further down, further down. There it is right there. So there's your canteen, and we can go ahead and make one, which we did. And this thing is supposed to hold multiple drinks. Now, I said now. I do believe they've changed the water bottle, so now it holds two drinks. Let's go ahead and try it. There you can, you can see. Actually, if we go in like this, it'll probably be easier for you guys to see it. See how it's got half its inventory left over now? So now we can drink again. Uh, we can? Oh, there we go. We had to get thirsty. So yeah, so now you can get two drinks out of that bad boy. Now, let's go ahead and refill this. And they've still got the weird glitch with the stuff and things. Let's squirt that in there. Oh, baby. Is it not filling up? Is it glitched? Is it super glitchy? Why are you so glitchy? Safely carry a sizable amount of water and reasonably light weight but will not fill up. Um, let's try this. Let's just pull it out and stick it in there by itself. Okay, that's not working. Let's try if we drink and then wait a second here. Drink again. Let's try uh, putting two empty guys inside of here. So go like so, squirt. Nope, so it looks like it's not filling up in here for some reason we can't do that. Uh, all right, so I got another plan. Uh, wait. Peace out, peeps! Ooh! Now, if we're underwater... There's a stupid pigeon under here! If we're underwater, we cannot fill it up either. Wait, uh, why is there a battle? Who's battling? Why is there... Who's in... Oh, you're battling. Uh, stupid pigeon? Why don't you come with me, homie? Let's go this early direction. So we should be able to... Or the canteen should fill up. Am I, I may be using it wrong. I don't know what's going on. At least we'll get the stupid pigeon out of here, I think. Are you stuck, homie? Are you flying underwater? You're amazing, stupid pigeon. And we're back under cover of night. It looks like you can fill it up when standing in water. And I actually just checked on the 1.92 patch notes, which is the current version. There is something that says canteen can now be properly filled up in a water tap, which I'm assuming is not the case. Because we're the server's on 1.92. 
So, yeah, it should work. But um, let's go ahead and take a look. If it doesn't fill up in a water tap, really not useful to us right now. But uh, I'm sure in the future it'll get fixed. But let's take a look at this bad boy. So we got our water. Uh, we got our canteen now. If we hit E or 8 and then get thirsty again, homie. So it looks like it holds three, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Let me see. Maybe we needed to, like, initially fill it once and then that, like, primed it. No. So it's not working right now. It doesn't fill up in the water tap. But it's still very, very cool and pretty inexpensive to make. So really, really neato. All right. So now I feel like it's time for us to find a trilobite. We've got to go and find one of these trilobite things. You want to go, Beak Hole? You want to go, boy? All right, Pete. All right, let's go. What is going on, man? Are you alive? Are you just like... I'm not going back in there, man. It's too dangerous. Oh, no. You're to Oh, no. You're just toasty. You're out. So, um, he died. I don't know who that was, but he's gone now. So, uh, oh, his little buddy's here. Are you the one that was head? Is that why your head was in the sand? Because you were sad? So, um, yeah, the trilobite. I've been looking around for one, and I haven't found one yet. And I'm thinking maybe something's up with the version. I don't know, because the canteens are supposed to be fixed, and they weren't. So... But when I logged in, the server said it was on 192. Um, I'm assuming looking on the beach is probably a great spot. I know they're, I th no, I think they're very small. Like uh, Titanomirna spawn, Titanomirna spawn, uh, small, I do believe. But I just haven't been able to find any as I've been flying around here. You guys see any? You see any trilobites around? Let's get some gamma, hot gamma action for you. There we go. It looks a little bit better. But I even went in the water a little bit and took a look around, too. So, I don't know. They're going to be around here. So, the, the thing about it is they're supposed to be, like, this great renewable resource. Uh, this way that you can get uh, materials. And it uh, seems like they're kind of hard to find. So, looks like the cave's definitely going to be way better for chitin. Um, but getting oil and silica is kind of neat from a, from a mob as opposed to going into the caves to get that. Also, this area over here is amazing. This is a cool little spot for, like, a tiny base, perhaps. All right, on the search for trilobites. Search for trilobites continues. BRBs, peeps. And we're back, and I found them, peeps. These are the trilobites. They hang out, I guess, kind of sometimes on the beach, sometimes not. Now, they're awesome looking, and I want trilobite armor or some sort of trilobite he headgear. I want to wear this. Look how BA that looks. Suck it. Nailed it. No, don't run! Wow, they're hard to kill for level 8. And where's this little dead body go? Uh, what if we hatchet him? 12 chitin, 3 oil, 1 raw meat. 22 chitin for that little guy. Not bad at all. Also, I did find out, by the way, you can equip other arrows inside the compound crossbow. So you don't have to use the regular uh, arrows that you have, or you don't have to use the special arrows. Let's go ahead and get this out. I thought I saw some more of these guys. No, I know I did. Oh, there they are right there. Look, we're like a spear fisherman, man! Oh, look, I even look like a spear fisherman, kind of, except I have metal armor on, but what? Is... Nailed it! Two. Three. Dead. Now, if we go like a so, we are getting still chitin and raw meat and a little bit of oil. So, not sure which one of the tools really, or the, if the tools matter that much for harvesting. And I thought I saw a bunch over here. All right, let's get our pike back out, and we'll do this guy. Level 92? I Oh, man. Dude, I don't, I don't want to even mess with this guy. Thankfully, they're not aggressive. Suck it, level 92 trilobite. Hold on. I got to get a screenshot of this for you guys. There it is. Oh, man. All my stuff and things are in the way. Oh, he's going up on shore. Perfect. Get up there, man, so we can see you. Look at that, man. Look how high level he is. It's so crazy. Chat box, go away. Hold on. Oh, wait. Auto chat box. Go away, chat box. Auto hide. Disable. Wait, is there a way I can... <sighs> oh, wait. It's auto hide disabled. I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. Pardon me. Auto chat box is still applied. Okay. Where did he go? Where did you go, man? We lost our super trilobite. No! Why? Oh, who is this? Ripsaw, level one unconscious. Who is Ripsaw? We've seen this guy on the server before. He like logged in, and somehow I think when we didn't have um we didn't have a password protection on. Suck it, Ripsaw. It's over. We killed Ripsaw. 
So, all right. Auto hide disabled. I want auto hide enabled. But any hoozle, we found our guy. We got to go get back and get B coal. We found our trilobites. They're really neat. Um, I would like to see like groups of like more of them. I guess maybe that would be my suggestion for that. But that's kind of cool. We've got a lot of like really little dinos that have been added recently. I'm excited to see something tameable. Um, but in the future here, in the next week or so, we're gonna get the rideable or the um. The buildable saddles, the saddles that have like the platforms on them where you can build stuff and things on them. So it's going to be pretty cool. Um, yeah, all right, heading back to the base. BRBs, peeps. And we're back. And I just realized I got a huge amount of meat that we left on 123 over here. We got to get it cooked up. And I don't have the stuff and things I need to make. Uh, what is it even called? Is it under structures? Uh, cooking? This guy right here. We need 200 metal ingots, 30. Of course, we still need 40 cementing paste, and we used it all up. So I got to go over to the cave. I don't have any more chitin. And I got to get some supplies so we can make that so we can cook up that meat. But that is it for today, guys. I'm out of time. Oh, yeah, baby. So I hope that you guys had fun hanging out. If you guys liked the video, please don't forget to show your support and hit the like button. Feel free to share and favorite the videos you see fit. May the stuff and things be with you. I just ran through your poop, feller.